Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. Was it June or July? Gosh, July. Uh, time is going quick, guys. Time is going quick. Uh, for July, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to check out, um, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So um, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shut all the time. As I always say, you know, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes. Here, sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So I'm just going to take these in. If you see extra cards, it's just for clarification purposes. I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. Hello, Scorpio. So let's start your reading. And of course, uh, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. And as I always say, you know, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. And of course, if this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner um, as we speak. All right, let's start. Okay, so just touching on the past, um, the, the, you, did, you didn't want to deal with this. You didn't want to deal with this person. You didn't want to acknowledge this person. There's something that you just didn't want to deal with. There was disappointment, uh, very much disappointment there. And it's to do with this person engaging or having had someone else or involved with someone else that you kind of know or found out about, but you kept that a secret. It's like you didn't want to share that or you didn't, you know, express that you kind of knew or found out about this this other person, especially with the three of cups there. So your mindset was about just moving forward or at least attempting to move forward. It's like, I don't want to deal with this person anymore because there's, you know, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in, you know, maybe what? Yeah, I'm just disappointed in in, in, in in the situation, ultimately. I started out positive. I started out optimistic. You know, I very much wanted to have an opportunity to build with them, to build something, establish something. And now I've kind of gone into protective mode. Now you put me in this just protective mode, this defensive mode. And now I'm not, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with the moon. Just not sure how this is going to turn out. And you're right. You know, this person was doing a bit of, Sneaking behind the scenes, I like to call it, Scorpio. Sneaking behind the scenes with that Seven of Swords. When it came to, um, with someone, this Queen of Cups. It, but it took them a level of strength. It's like this, this level of strength. Let me put up these cards. But the strength card, they, it, it kind of seems like it was really um, difficult. Something difficult for them to do this sneaking behind the scenes. It wasn't something that was, you know, careless or just, you know, I'm going to do it because I can. I feel like I'm not sure how you guys met. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened prior to this or what the, you know, what that interaction was. But I, what I do know is it, it took this person a level of strength to be able to sneak behind the scenes when it came to this person. So that says something about your connection. Um, but there is this acknowledgement that things have turned cold. Things have turned cold. The reason, I mean, how do I put that? How do I put that? I'm talking about this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups has been, is someone that has been supportive when it came to uh, this person here. Uh, so there is this difficulty around that. It's like it's, it's, it's burdensome for them because of that. It's like this person doesn't want to upset them or they don't want to... 
they feel maybe guilty or bad about that. Hence going, hence going back to the strength card, this having this strength or this level of strength needing to be able to sneak behind the scenes. Doesn't make it any better. I'm just saying, okay. Um, hence why they're, yeah, this, I don't feel like this person felt good about doing that to this person simply because of what they provided to them or the support they gave them, the patience they had with them around that. We've got the Queen of Cups again here. The Queen of Cups is a very empathetic, patient, sweet, supportive, understanding, emotionally mature type of a queen there, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Things are going well for you. Not sure whether that's work. Something that you've put work into, which you're now seeing the benefits of that hard work. You're seeing the benefits of, you know, just the work that you've kind of put into something. That could be your career. That could be a project or something that you've been working on, which you're reaping the rewards of that. However, behind the scenes, it's like this person, whoever this is, there's still thoughts about this person because they're keeping you trapped mentally with the A. The Eight of Cups talks, Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords talks about just being trapped mentally. But this is, this is always something that you can come out of, something that you have control over. These are being trapped by thoughts that you have induced. And when I say induced, meaning, you know, you're thinking that. So if you switch your thoughts to something else and you build the momentum in that direction, then you'll start to think something else. And you'll, you'll release yourself from this trap. Um, constantly thinking, unable to escape those types of thoughts when it comes to this person. Doubts coming up. Frustration is coming up for you. But feel like with the two there, I'm going to say it, Scorpio, with that two there, there is, because two talks about, you know, that, hmm, how do I put that? It's, it's more about, yes, the decision was made, but it's more about the, the words on the tip of my tongue. This is more about something that, mm, how do I put that? You've decided, you've decided on them or this, something that you kind of maybe can't get away from, let's say that, can't, can't get away from or find it difficult to get away from because it's not so much can't get away from, it's finding it difficult to get away from because a, a decision at some point has or, had already been made regarding this person, if that makes sense words on the tip of my tongue but I can't seem to capture it at the moment so just um, hopefully that makes sense so yeah we'll go we'll, we'll, hopefully that comes up again for me um, your person your person your person Scorpio alright so we got the eight of, ace of blades so there's a solution that's come up for them it's like they're in this solution mode an idea they've received some form of idea yes there's acknowledgement that this has come to an end for them, but it's like, I want to establish something. I want to establish something with, with my Scorpio, their queen of pentacles matching your king there. I want to establish something with them. I want to advance this. I want to move this forward. I want to come back into alignment because I do feel at one point you guys was in alignment in some way. I want to come back into alignment. I'm not sure why or how they're expecting to do that with the Queen of Cups in the picture, but that's their thinking. That's their thinking. Um, and there's this level of emotional maturity that they feel they need to have when it comes to this, because there is this, again, acknowledgement that something comes to an end, this crashing down of something, trying to balance their thinking around that, trying to be emotionally mature when it comes to this situation, because they are wanting that, ten, wanting that Ten of Pentacles. And it's not to say you didn't want the Ten of Pentacles in the past, but it's like, well, you know, had you told me that you was involved in someone, then we wouldn't have taken it where we've taken it. And, and now look where I am. I can't, you know, I've, I've established some form of emotional connection to you with the um, Two of Cups there. I uh, can't express it. I, I, I got to try and put a lid on it with the, with the page there. Try and kind of maybe move out of that. I say maybe move out of that. Because we do have that eight. And then we have that page of pentacles, which talks about a new direction, doing something new. I say maybe move out of that simply because I don't feel like you're, of course, you're not going to know what they're thinking. I mean, if this is resonating now, you know what they're thinking, but you're not willing to engage with someone who has someone else. You're just not willing to do that. 
Um, and I'm not sure what this person is has planned around how they handled the situation that they got going on, which is just burdensome to that. It's a burden to that. Yes, understandably, sometimes we can't help where we meet people. We can't help the type of connection that we do develop with someone, maybe unexpectedly. But we've got to be real. We've got to keep it honest. We can't be sneaky. You know, that's karma. That's the energy that you're putting out there that you do not want to come back on you. You know, you just don't. And you're not willing to engage with that. Like, I'm not willing to engage with you entertaining other people or even being in something. This is definitely something they had established before, prior to you, though, that they didn't tell you about, which you found out about. But you're not willing to engage in it. I'm not sure what this person has planned in terms of what they're going to be doing with this person. Usually we'll kind of expand on this in part two of the reading for those that are interested. I will be implementing that next week, guys. So look out for that. Um, but as it stands, as it stands, this is where we're at. This person has got you in your feelings, in your thoughts, simply because they wasn't honest in the past. But now it's like they're wanting to establish something. Not to say they didn't want to in the past, but they're more serious about this now. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you. As they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.